All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> I'm turned. My spirit's turned up right now. It's turned all the way up. Hey, before I go any further, this hey, this video is basically inspired by three different songs that I just listened to. All right. And the last one really got my spirit turned up. First song was uh, 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 my, it was Michael Jackson and it was they don't care about us. You, you know, he made that song. All I really say is that they don't really care about us. And that's the truth. You know, in that day, he mentions who that they is. Jew me, sue me, everybody do me. Huh? By the way, they had him take that out. All right. Second song was called Southern Man. Right. Southern Man from uh, Neil Young. All right. And Neil Young, man, hey, look, he, he straight up got down on that song, man. You know, Southern Man, when will you pay them back? All that. You know, I would get the lyrics, but I don't want to make it too long. And the last one was this song right here. Let's go to it. This song right here. It, it got me, man. It got me. All right. A song by uh, Johnny Cash, right? Which I think he may be an Israelite, straight up. All right? The man comes around. Boy, oh boy. It got me. It totally got me. It got my spirit turned all the way up. So let's go here first. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors to, after, uh, to the men, a great millstone of whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth. And sincerity. Now, when the man comes around, that man being who? Our big brother, Yahweh Shai, man, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. When he comes around, oh, no, 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 no. Ain't going ain't gonna to be no uh, faking the funk. Uh-uh. Ain't going to be no everybody can be saved. You're going to know exactly what the score is when he comes around. You understand? Got me turn the hell up. Let's go. Let's go. To, let's, let's read this first. Isaiah 60, verse 8. Who are these that fly as a cloud? And the doves of their widows. Verse 9. Surely the eyes shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first. See that? To bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them. You hear that? That's why our gates are going to be open continually. Because there's going to be somebody ruling, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, sitting on 12 thrones. You understand? You don't never hear the church, especially the black church, right? You don't never hear them going into uh, 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 the rebuilding of the temple of David, which in fact is us. It's being built right in front of your eyes. That third temple, if you will, right? Okay. And their gold with them. And to the name of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he have glorified thee. Who? Glorified thee. Who? The children of Israel. And on this side, two thirds still got to go, right? Let's continue on. And the sons of the strangers shall build up thy walls. Who's that? That's the, oh, these, that's the other nations, man. The ones who their inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever. The ones who think they got next, but no, no, no. Not when the man comes around. <laughs> and if you know anything about that song, hey, look the song up. Johnny Cash, when the man comes around. That shit got me turned up. I ain't gonna, I can't lie about it. Won't lie. <laughs> it got me turned all the way up. Matter of fact, I listened to it twice. Huh? All right. And the sons of the strangers shall build up thy walls. Their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath, I have smote thee. But in my favor, I have had mercy on thee. His wrath was when what? You know, hey, uh, he put them curses upon us. Because we went a, a whoring going off worshiping other idols. But... What is the end goal? The savior, the man, when the man comes around, brothers and sisters, Akiyam and Akwaf, listen to these lyrics, man. And a lot of you brothers have heard this song before. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I told you I'm turned up today. It's absolutely beautiful outside. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is getting ready to bring all kinds of fire and death and destruction upon this place. And that should comfort you. Huh? Especially knowing who you are and having the faith that he has given you, which in fact is a gift. And knowing the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See that? Mercy on us, man. All right. Eleven. And we need it, too. We are under a wicked, foul, dirty ass rulership that does nothing but lie to us daily. And we complain it to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai day and night and meditating on these scriptures. Verse 11, therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. 
that that Slakia, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought. You see that? Their kings, that first wave of slavery is going to be who? These higher ups, the one who's got, who, who, who said, let the rocks fall upon us. Let them hide us. But they ain't going to be nowhere to hide and nowhere to run to, baby. See that? Verse 12, I'm taking a page at an elder, a uh, uh, beloved Apostle Gabar's videos, man. Because he, 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 he's uh, he real good about that music, man. You know, real, real, real good about it. And I absolutely, I love all three of them songs, man. You know? Yeah, how about him, y'all? I think he got Johnny Cash. I think he got, you know, he got Wacko Jacko. <laughs> That's what they used to call him, you know, because that nigga was all into the uh, uh, Kabbalah, and, you know, and he sold his soul, if you will, for lack of better words. He he sure did. All right, that nigga was wicked as hell, man, straight up. All right, for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So let's go to these lyrics. Let's go to these lyrics right here. Awesome. Intro, it says, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, come and see. And I saw and behold a white horse. See that? Behold a pale horse. Come on. Revelation 19 verse 11. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he does judge and do what? Make war. Did you hear that? The scripture also said that Yahabashai is a man of war. He's an austere man. He, when he comes back, he's not going not gonna to meet thee as a man. What did he say? When the man comes around. Woo, woo, woo. Verse 1. <laughs> oh, call on Yahabashai, Yahabashai, man. I turned all the way up with this one. I love it. And hopefully it's edifying, man. You know? All right. See, uh, you know, he, he, Johnny Cash, you know, could be. I, I'm not sure if he's still alive or not. He may be. You know, I may want to look that up before, you know, uh, say anything about it. But, you know, that, that dude could be an Israelite, man, because Edomites, they don't tell no kind of truth. All right. And in this song, he told the truth. There's a man going around taking names. What names? Everybody's names. He, uh, 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 the, uh, the ones that are written in the book of life and the ones that have been blotted out. And the ones that were never even considered to be anything. You remember the scripture said they like a drop uh, 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 that fall off from a vessel. They're nothing. Small dust of the balance. Nobody's. They are uh, 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 vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. We're going to read that too. All right. And he decides who to free and who to blame. See that? Everybody won't be treated the same. Oh, well, wait a minute now. What did, he, what did the scripture say? It said the same thing. That the children of Israel are going to be above everybody and never oppressed, never again. You know, uh, 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 incorruptible bodies. We can't go off ever again. The laws and statutes and judgments are going to be written in our foreheads, our inward parts. That's why the scripture said there's going to be need no, uh, no need to teach each other. No need to teach your brethren. Now, these other nations, hey, hey, Moab, put that crab down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Esau, Edom, stop trying to screw the dogs. You, you know, you, you you see what I'm saying? Ham, uh, you, you Hamites over there. Uh, uh, you, no plate lips. You don't you don't get plates in your lips no more. All right. You, you don't you don't get to eat people anymore. None of that. See, everybody won't be treated the same. There's a golden ladder reaching down when the man comes around. Woo. -woo. Let's read it again. Let's read it again. <laughs> Everybody won't be treated the same. Did you hear that? There's a golden ladder reaching down when the man comes around. I'm, oh, boy. He judge, what it say? He, he said, he judges and maketh war, right? Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh have spoken against you. Do you hear that? Against you. Christianity says hey, everybody can be saved. Where, 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 where you at, vocab? Where, where are you Christians at? Where are you uh You feel good. You know, Cesare Borgia, uh, a Borgia, uh, a worshiping ass uh, Israelites. Where the hell y'all at? You know, when the when the, uh, the when scriptures come out according to prophecy, where are you at? Oh, you just want to? No, no, that's not what the scripture said. You know, uh, he's all about love. Well, you don't even know what love is. See that? Against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known." Of all the families of the earth, therefore will I punish you for your iniquities. 
Everybody wasn't treated the same uh, 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 when the Israelites was going through their plight, which we still are. You remember the scripture said, Baruch 3 and verse 18, I believe, that we are yet to stay in our captivity. Uh, whether you how about Shem Shai scattered us to be a, 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 for a curse and a reproach. He sent these nations against us. Deuteronomy 28, 48. A nation shall come, uh, shall, shall get up above thee very high. He should become very low. All right. So who is he coming to, to make war with? As the scripture just said right here in Revelation 19 chapter. Who is he coming to make war with? With the rest of these nations. Mainly these Edomites, man. But they're all going to be gathered together. Like what's going on right now in the Valley of Decision, man. The Valley of Yahweh Shepot. All right. So he can plead with them for his people, Israel, as the scripture said. You see that right there? Simple and plain, baby. Let's go here. Revelation 13, verse 8. And and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Uh-oh. You see that? All shall worship him. You ain't going to have no other choice. Okay? You heard what I read. Therefore, our gates shall be open continually, but the ones who will not serve you shall utterly be wasted. They shall perish. Yes, sir. All right? Whose names were not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Simple and plain. Slain. Not, not, you know, and not just in the end, uh, you're going to get raptured uh, and, and, and it's going to be seven years. Man, where the hell did that come from? That's not in the scriptures. That's not in the scriptures. All right? Let's go here. Revelation 20, verse 12. And I saw the dead small and great and and stand before the most high yahweh all right and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life it, you know later on in these uh um in this song he said here are the words that have been long written down when the man comes around long written down the scriptures plainly told you that uh uh they, they, they written a four time for our learning who the Israelites so we can learn and go out and preach and teach and tell them get the blood up off of our hands so then they'll know when the man comes around standing upon that that a uh, huge chariot uh, hopefully you hear that voice you know uh, you have about the zombie part of that number saying come up here and hide yourselves while the indignation pass everybody's not gonna be treated the same didn't he say that in the lyrics let's go back to it uh, I, I like that everyone won't be treated the same See that? Everyone won't be treated the same. Let's go to verse 2. The hairs on your arm will stand up. And while he was singing that song, yeah, I, I, mean, I could see it. And I had a smile on my face from one side to the other. Because that's very comforting, knowing not everybody's going to be treated the same. Knowing that there's, there's going to be a, a hierarchy set up forever. See? That's beautiful, man. The hairs on your arm will stand up at the terror in each sip and eat sup will you partake of the last offered cup or disappear in the potter's ground when the man comes around Choo who's the potter who's the potter have not the potter have power over the clay let's read that let's read that it's right here in the book of romans the ninth chapter that's a hot chapter read it it's a hot one okay and no i'm not talking about a blicky neither it's a hot one baby all right <laughs> have not the potter have power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor we're not just speaking about that everybody's not going to be treated the same when the man comes around you see that that's man that's that that's lyrics the lyrics got me turned up what if the most high power willing to show his wrath and to make his power known and endure which much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction see that the vessels of what wrath fitted to destruction who made the vessels who's the potter's ground who is the potter return to the potter's ground or a uh, uh, hell the grave huh when the man comes around Woo -woo. let's go let's go let's go hear the trumpets hear the pipers who are the pipers we, let's go to the book of luke it's lucky yeah let's go to the book of luke Hear the pipers. Hear them. The book of Luke. 1 of verse 68. All right. This is absolutely beautiful, man. And I hope this is edifying. I hope you're really getting something out of this. Is it, this, is, this is comfort you. 
Luke 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh of who? Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. And what redeemed them from what all this madness and bloodshed, and bloodshed that we have been made to suffer. All right. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us. That didn't say everybody. All right. In the house of Israel, his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Do you see that right there? Oh, boy, man, there's so much to unpack in this. And this is a really short song. So much. All right. Hear the trumpets, hear the pipers. 100 million angels singing. Multitudes are marching to that big, he said, that big kettle drum. <laughs> voices calling, voices crying. Some are born and some are dying. It's Alpha and Omega's kingdom come. You hear that right there? The ones who are what? Who The ones who are dying, that's the two thirds of the rest of these people. Okay? And the ones who are being born, like it says right here, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. See? In the what? In the moment, in the, in the twinkling of an eye. Let's read it. I got it pulled up. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 52. But, you, but then you got all these, you know, these, uh, these uh, Republicans and even Democrats or whoever talking about uh, Jebus this and Jebus that. And you have no idea what's getting ready to happen when the man comes around. When Yahabashai comes around. That man. Then when he said, I will not meet thee as a man. Whew. Akiyam and Akwaf, man, listen to this. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 52. In the moment. In the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised, raised incorruptible and we shall be changed with that new body changed, never growing old, never feeling any kind of pain, never having a botch of the knee, never having a headache, never. Never uh, 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 hurting yourself, uh, uh, shed, shedding your blood. No. This is forever. This is what we're striving. Striving to, uh, to enter in the straight gate, man. All right? <sighs> Incorruptible, man. Incorruptible bodies. The scripture said that too. Let's go. Some were born and some were dying. It's Alpha and Omega's kingdom come. And the, word, uh, the whirlwind was in the thorn tree. The virgins are all trimming their wicks. The whirlwind is in the thorn tree. It is hard for me to kick against the pricks. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, verse three. See, I told you it was a, it's a short. It's a short. It's a very, very short song, man. Powerful. Very powerful. The water to you. How about man? For everything. All right. Till Armageddon. No shalom. No uh, shalom. Shalom. No shalom. Uh, then the father hit. Then the father's hen will call his chickens home. The wise men will bow down before the throne. At his feet, they shall cast their golden crowns when the man comes around. That shit is heavy, man. See that? Let's go here first. Luke 13, verse 28. Red letters. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets... In the kingdom of the Most High, and you yourselves thrust out. What did he say? Not everyone would be treated the same. Not when the man comes around. You understand? Close out right here. Revelation 14, verse 3. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts, and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000, which were redeemed from the earth redeemed from the earth so yet again uh, all of it, man this whole damn thing was good man it was good and it had me turned all the way up and i'll leave it right there giving all praise honor and glory to yahweh baha shove you know what slack you for a moment slack you for a moment let's see let's see this Man, Neil Young. Let's read just a couple of these because I sort of wanted to get into this too. Genius. Genius. All right. There, there's a there's the uh, album cover right there, right? 
Southern man better keep your head. Don't forget what your good book said. And that's not their good book. It's our book. The Israelites book. Yes, it is good and very comforting. Southern man, uh, southern chain is going to come at last. Now your crosses are burning fast. Just a little prelude into this song. You know, now your crosses, who burnt crosses? In, uh, in uh, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans yards. Who did that? Yep, you got it. Edomites. The so-called white man. Listen, I got to read this. I saw cotton. I saw black. We're not black. All right. Tall white mansions and little shacks. Southern men, when will you pay them back? I heard screaming and bullwhips crapping, cracking. How long? How long? And see, you know, and again, how long? How long? And throughout the prophecies, throughout the, uh, the book. You know, a hey, uh, the uh, the prophets, the brothers, and and uh, and uh, you know, we're saying, hey, always ask Yahweh Shai, always ask the Lord, uh, Yahweh, how long, how long shall this endure? Is this the end? You know, even you had demons and angels saying, you come to torment me before the time. You understand? Good shit, man. Good shit right here. All right, Southern man, better keep your head. Don't forget what your good book said. Right, Lily Bell. This is a this is a short song too. Lily Bell, your hair is golden brown. I've seen your black man coming around. Yeah, that happened a lot. That happened a lot, man. You don't think these damn, these damn Edomite uh, uh, women was uh, uh, thirsting and lusting after Jake, man? Of course. You know, hey, that, that was, they, they made a movie. I forget. I, put, uh, I clipped that movie once. Put it in a lesson. You know, where the baby came out. <laughs> I'll be the pappy. <laughs> you know, uh, not that movie. No, not that movie, uh, uh, Life. You know, when can't get right, got right. You see? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's a lock you, man. I'll be the pappy. You know what I'm saying? Not that movie. It was a different movie, an older movie. You know, where she had the baby and, you know, it had, you know, so-called kinky hair. You know, had uh, uh, hair of wool, man. You know, and it was a dark-skinned baby. See? It is what it is. <laughs> oh, man. Swear by God I'm going to cut him down. I heard screaming and bullwhips cracking. How long? How long? Yeah, that's it. That's that's all. That's that whole song right there. Now I would go into the you know the lyrics of uh, that Michael Jackson song I was listening to, but I I, I I won't do it. I'll just leave it right there. So hey, the, you know, hey, the moral of the story is <laughs> Esau, you got to pay for this shit. You threw stew, baby, and I thought you knew. Giving pray all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha Kwadash. Yet again. Double honors to the men at Great Millstone who rule well. You know, hey, all the brothers, man, straight up. You know, and the brothers who teach a, a, like, a likewise doctrine, one on one body, one spirit, you know, one circumcision, man. All right? Healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. And I got to say this. How long, how long? That's why I say every chance you get, chant this place down. Kwam Yashirwala and wa abai babal. Boom, shalom.